Hello. Um, before this video starts, I just wanted to give a quick apology to how disgusting my last two videos turned out. Um, they had numerous rendering issues, aspect ratio problems, the quality was bad. Tom and Jim are on a ship until Tom falls in love and tries to be with her. I was lazy at some points and I'm just sorry of how those videos turned out because I g they're just bad. And I'm, I'm I'm trying to improve, so I'm not I'm not apologizing for anything I said earlier. I'm, I'm apologizing because you guys deserve better content, and I am kind of embarrassed of the way uh, those videos turned out, especially with the f***ing rendering issues on the second video and the aspect ratios on the Metro Color video. I I just want to give a quick apology for that. That really sucks. I'm sorry. Hello, everybody. My name is Pasta Obesity, or whatever the f you want to call me. I don't care. And uh, the the feline rodent humorous cocaine bag. This show sucks like emulating a PS2 game on an Obama phone. It's slow, choppy, and is anything that can even be considered entertaining. This video essay slash ranking will be similar to my last f***ing disgrace. Story, review, and ranking. Let's get this over with so I don't have the tendency to kill myself with a rusty bathroom sink. There is fortunately not much story on why this expired cat corpse exists. Basically after the monstrosity that was Hanna-Barbera's The Tom and Jerry Show back in 1975, MGM hired Filmation, known for producing cartoons such as Fat Albert, the Star Trek animated series, and He-Man Masters of the Universe, along with being Hanna-Barbera's main competitor at the time, to make new Tom and Jerry cartoons with the violence and slapstick back in place. Even though the violence in the Chase formula is a lot less common due to the show following television standards in the 1980s. Opposite of that. That really was the cartoon of all time. It aired on CBS from 1980 to 1980. <laughs> with 30 Tom and Jerry segments and 15 Droopy plus other MGM character segments. We're not talking about the Droopy segments today because I think talking about these was severely depressing. The show ended due to it being heavily disliked by fans. The reason why Filmation is its own chapter is because Filmation alone has a lot to do with the quality of this show in terms of animation quality. If you guys are unaware, Filmation is known for its quantity over quality, less is more formula. Yeah, I think you can get an idea of the animation quality of Filmation's cartoons. All of the animation is worse than Action 52. All of the animation is terrible due to Filmation being Filmation, the animation took massive dips in quality in all sorts. Reused animations, animation mistakes in almost every scene, just straight up unacceptable animation. If I described everything in this video, it would be not much longer, but I don't want it to be m not much longer. I want it to be just enough. I have zero idea how some of these were able to pass for television viewership. Did people not look over this? Probably not. And if that's true, Dear Christ, grinding on a rail is true. Look, I know this is due to limited animation, but come on, man. Seriously? This cartoon has some of the worst mediocre voice acting and worst sound effects. Oh, sh**. <clears throat> Take two. This cartoon has some of the most mediocre voice acting and worst sound design in the franchise. Majority of the sound effects are just a barrage of messy and loud Hanna-Barbera stock effects and along with Filmation's messy and loud sound effects that sound horrendous to the ears. The voice acting is not terrible. It's very unremarkable like this whole f fest of limited animation dismiss. And the background is unpleasant constantly reused synthesized stock music that is constantly pitched up and down depending on the on-screen situation or incredibly f***ing <laughs> giving the show a very monotonous soundtrack. <laughs> just so pleasant to listen to, just as pleasant as snakes asphyxiating rabbits. Tom 
and Jerry are similar to themselves from the absolutely incalculably shit that was the late Jean Dige era, except Tom isn't as f***ing stupid as Ron Lim's sonic design and never receiving a definite win in an episode. But Jerry is still a professional catphobic idiotic boner pirate who bullies Tom because he exists. Spike and Tiger here. They don't provide anything new, just Spike and Tyke before the Tom and Jerry show from 2014 flanderize them from trying to exist peacefully to actively coming after Tom for no reason besides dogs chase cats. All the side characters and character specific characters are so unremarkable, they aren't worth talking about honestly. There is no way to watch these cartoons anywhere but the Boomerang streaming service. No physical home media release, possibly due to licensing and it possibly due to licensing issues with formation. Although Jerry's Country Cousin is available on Tom and Jerry the Deluxe Anniversary Collection, making it the only episode in the entire show's 43 years of existence to ever be released on anything but Boomerang. This rotten garbage bag of a show is also called The New Adventures of Tom and Jerry. This show was originally titled The Cat and Jam Comedy Show. The Cat and Jam Comedy This show officially renamed Nibbles to Tuffy and honestly, I like Tuffy better, not gonna lie. Uh, that's all really. Time to get into the main part of the video. It's a review and ranking of all Tom and Jerry segments from Filmation's infamous The Tom and Jerry Comedy Show. Or The New Adventures of Tom and Jerry. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Tom and Jerry does their thing badly. But Tom puts Jerry in a life-threatening situation, feels bad, and Jerry f***s with them. He finds out. Done. This is a bad combination of buddy thicker than water and puppy love. Except Tom and Jerry never be friends and Tom starts the fight because Jerry wants to not get wet when he sleeps. That... That's... Wow. That's all I have to say. It's boring as f**k. Being boring in my opinion is worse because there's nothing to say. But this episode is exceedingly unrelieved. 1 out of 10. Boring and just Worst versions of shorts 10 times better than this show. You know that one scene in Mouse Trouble where Tom deceives Jerry using a wind-up female mouse toy? Well, they made that a whole episode. Tom bought this remote control female mouse toy to help him get rid of Jerry because the owners threatened to throw Tom out if he isn't removed. I like the idea of it. That's it. It's forgettable. Just mind numbing at this point. I like I know it's been like the second episode so far, but like, oh my god, these are so bland. The only mildly amusing visual gag was this. I'm not begun, I'm not That's it. Three out of ten. Two points for the originality and one point for the visual gag. This is a chaotic version of Quiet Please, but taking place in a library and fat person and baby jokes. Cool. The joke is that this big bitch gets literally woken up by a pin drop while <laughs> is happening. Funny. If you know how Quiet Please goes, you know what plays here. 2 out of 10, uninspired and jokes are not funny. <laughs> Tom fails to take care of Tyke because of Jerry. I never liked these type of episodes. wow. I never liked these type of episodes in shorts because I always feel bad for Tom. Like he's literally trying to do a simple task, take care of Spike's son, and Jerry's being an asswipe just because. Like, like what? And because of that, he is always punished for at the end by Spike. In this episode, instead of getting skinned alive, severely crippled, or put into a, a washing machine, he tosses a live shark into a pool where Tom's in. You're a dick, Spike. One out of ten. It's not funny, uninspired, and I never liked these puppy sick cartoons in the first place. <laughs> 
Tom's fed up with his employer because of the ridicule and disrespect he puts on Tom, so he quits, winds up at a ghetto cat bar, Miss Kitties, and passes out cold on buttermilk while Jerry's having to return Tom back to the house because Jerry realized that he's gonna get f***ing exterminated along with having to quarrel with two other cats who kidnapped him and also robbed the ex-employer's house instructed by Miss Kitty to do so. A lot of things are going on. It's original and things actually happen to keep you somewhat engaged. The jokes aren't funny, but it's original and isn't boring. So I can give it that. 5 out of 10. It's original and at least semi feels like normal Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Tom and Jerry, but in an orchestra theater. I don't know how to properly describe this episode. Okay, so Tom randomly exists on this orchestra theater committing illegal trespassing due to it being closed until three hours later. Tom is fascinated by the violin, so he becomes Tarzan and plays like a retarded half deaf hole. So Jerry's like, yo, shut your bitch ass the f up and picks the fight. So Tom and Jerry do their wacky shenanigans, but Tom is desperately protecting this violin. Then they demolish the entire stage and then they dip while the live orchestra goes wrong because Tom duct taped it last minute. The only thing I found funny was due to filmation being filmation, this switch is used a few times for different actions. Help! God, it's so stupid. 2.5 out of 10. What a strange episode. <laughs> Tom finds out that Jerry likes sci-fi comics, so he f***s with Jerry by pretending to be one of the aliens from the comic Space Frenzy. Very original. It manipulates Tom... What? Well, yeah, because Tom manipulates Tom. It manipulates Jerry to do mundane tasks, like wash the dishes and mow the lawn, and fed him a cherry under threat of Earth's destruction. Jerry finds out, summons the f***ing mouse military into one big suit, kicks Tom's ass for being an ass, and makes him destroy a tree tying every cherry Jerry picked off for him. I never liked these threat under blank type things, like the missing mouse and Squidward the unfriendly ghost. So I don't like this. It's unnecessarily cruel and just unpleasant to watch. The jokes aren't funny, and this episode is so stodgy, man. One out of ten. Dull, stayed, and as a trope, I just like. <laughs> Spike and Jerry are suddenly aeronautical engineers that suddenly build functioning air vehicles for themselves. This airplane will make a swell present for my little boy's birthday. What good would heaven be if the angels came for me? I tell them no. And Jerry picks the fight. Blah, blah, blah. Spike is involved. Blah, blah, blah. Tom fairly loses. You get it. Jerry goes from normal size to tiny when they repeatedly break one of Spike's plane wings, mainly because they are consistently recycling ground running animation frames. 2 out of 10. Not funny at all, but appreciate the originality. Fucking on your bitch, then I gotta go. Don't fuck with these faggots, I'm a homophobe. The in-universe famous World's Loudest Rooster, known for streaming so loud that the sound wave is supposedly hazardous, gets accidentally tumbled off the circus truck it was in, bounces to where Tom and Jerry are, and Jerry f***s with Tom while he's trying to sleep by constantly waking him up with said rooster. I love how incredibly mindless the rooster looks. That's it. The episode is annoying as hell because of the rooster constantly <laughs> throughout the episode. Which I know, which I know it, it, that's the point, but like, come on, it's so annoying. 3 out of 10, mainly because of the stupid look on the rooster and the only lose for Jerry since the fight ends on mutual. Tom gets sent to the feline equivalent of, I think, military school, with Spike being Major Pain, who hired Jerry as a test dummy for training. Trains Tom to catch mice better. This is the Cat in Jams comedy show's first good episode. I enjoyed this one. The running joke about Tom needing to do push-ups with increasingly stupid heavier objects gave me a chuckle. And the rest of it at least kept me somewhat engaged. I don't know why they reused entire scenes from the Plague Baron Strikes Again, but it's filmation. It relies on limited animation. And by the way, um, the f***ing animation scenes 
from with them driving around in the plane is used so much that they actually become like parts of the episode themselves instead of just like throwaway gags. I can't fucking make this up. Six out of ten. I at least enjoyed it and found a running joke funny. Some cheese store owner, thank fuck it's not Gene, hires Tom to get rid of Jerry and Tuffy for eating his cheese. For some reason, this episode would air a lot during those two hour Tom and Jerry blocks on Boomerang. This episode is just... whatever. I don't- I, I just really do not give a sh Tom is fucking murdering it on the flute though. One out of ten. And like I know I'm putting a lot of these episodes in like one or twos, but that's because like they are they are genuinely one or twos. Like I, these are not good cartoons. These are the book definitions of bad Tom and Jerry cartoons. Tom and Jerry in a circus. There's been another type of this episode. Jerry go round from the late Chuck Jones era. One out of ten. Uninteresting, humorless, and uninspired. <laughs> Tom's owner's garden is in danger when a gopher is robbing the contents of the garden so he tasks Tom to get rid of it and Jerry helps the gopher mess with Tom. This episode is just whatever, except I hate the ending. The ending is basically the owner brings back Tom f***ing bong bong ding dong. The ending is basically the owner brings back Tom inside the house going back on his threat of throwing Tom out if the gopher isn't caught. But since it's gone, it's fine, you know, puts it back behind him, you know, says that he's sorry, blah blah blah. But Jerry decides Tom in the satisfying ending, regrows the whole garden just to get robbed again, and presume that Tom has been thrown out because he failed to redeem himself to catch the gopher again. F you, Jerry, random obese gopher. Why, why did I love him, Dad? It's in the middle of horrendous and sh. <laughs> Tom throws out Jerry playing Unisonic's Tournament 1000 Pong console because he is trying to sleep. So now it's a battle to see which one stays outside in the cold and who lays by the fire. This is surprisingly not bad at all. It's good Tom and Jerry. The ending is weird. Santa Claus? I, 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 okay? 6 out of 10. A couple funny bits in there. <laughs> This episode takes place in a fictional flashback sequence where Tom was the Wright Brothers airplane test pilot, but Jerry was credited for the first successful plane flight. This episode has some of the worst animation mistakes I have ever seen. Two backgrounds are even fully done or not centered properly. And Tom's arms aren't finished along with the aspect ratio along with the aspect ratio changing in between scenes like it's fing IMAX. This, this is more memorable than this cartoon and this feels awful. One out of 10, legitimately the most forgettable cartoon. I had to re-watch it three times to even write this, not even gonna lie. Okay, uh, I don't wanna f***ing write this. I'm so, it's like f***ing foreign. I'm just gonna get the Wikipedia description. Tom chases Jerry on a Texas ranch where he causes inconvenience for Spike and he gets entangled in cowboy events. I don't care. Sucks. I could have my Gucci on, I could wear my Louis Vuitton, but even with nothing on... Tom is in charge of Spike's birthday grub well, while he is groomed, and Jerry ruins it while Tom has to find a way to fix it before Spike gets home. You just feel bad for Tom. Dude's trying his hardest while Jerry just f***s with them because he threw him into a garbage can. Kinda a little bit deserved. It's satisfying that these fixes end up working when Spike gets home. This is probably Tom's most stressful episode in this show. 3 out of 10. Ending is somewhat alright. <laughs> Tom and Jerry in a museum with Spike. Go fish! Tuffy dropped some fucking balls, dude. Oh my god. This episode could have been way better, in my opinion. I like how stupid the museum employees are, though. Now what? A rare African turkey buzzard. But come on, how did that make me laugh? I oh my god. Four out of ten. Sorry for the short review. Some of these are very forgettable and not worth it sometimes. <laughs>
Tom and Jerry at Miami Beach with Spike. You know how these go. Spike versus Tom versus Jerry. Blah, blah, blah. Anything but comedic slapstick. Incredibly repetitive. Oh my god, I can... 3 out of 10. Repetitive, but the ending is kind of funny in my opinion. Tom successfully kicks out Jerry by putting locks on everything, including his own hole. So he walks aimlessly until he spots a remote control robot dog to scare off Tom until he builds one that he controls to scare Jerry off. But the plan backfires since the robot dog has romantic feelings? Oh, okay. I like this concept a lot, but so much more could have happened that would have made it that would have made it better. Like, why not have the two dogs turn on Tom and Jerry, so instead of Tom versus Jerry, it's Tom and Jerry versus random ass two dogs. Like, I know that sounds boring, but come on, like, you'll be somewhat unique compared to the rest of this f***ing series. And that makes me disappointed, but I'm fine. It, it's fine for what it is. It's, it's just... <laughs> Just our, it's just sort of alright, I, I guess. 4.5 out of 10. I like the concept and what we got out of it, but like, it could have been so much more, man. Tom and Jerry in a construction site with Spike. Another one of these f***ing Spike vs. Tom vs. Jerry episodes. I don't care. The ending is cruel though. Tom is forced to watch Jerry eat covered in cement while he is starving. You spike. Two out of ten. Repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. That's all I can say about this fucking shit. Tom's owner's sister mistakes Jerry for a hamster and won't let Tom fight with them. This episode sucks because Tom is constantly set up to be punished because Jerry is taking advantage of his owner's sister's love for him you jerry like i don't know how many times we're gonna say F you to someone but seriously you guys fucking suck two out of ten just very mean to tom for no real reason besides he's tom but it's, but the extra point is just for the originality of s the owner's sister we, we didn't really see that before in any other tom and jerry cartoon When Tom attempts to round up talking parrot Bertram, Bertram and Jerry team up to get back at Tom. Everyone is so incredibly dumb here. All right, who's responsible for this mess? Ark, what's it to you? Oh, a wise cat, huh? How, how do you think that's Tom talking? He's not even moving his lips. I like the concept. Execution is lame though. Three out of 10, this was bad. Tom and Jerry in a grocery store. They just straight up used like the entire fucking um, airplane chase from the played Baron Strikes Again. Um, I'm giving the episode a three out of ten because I found that so fucking funny. <laughs> Jerry becomes an escape artist dubbed Mousini at a carcass. At a carcass, oh my, wow. At a circus with his co-star, Tom. He's literally just Tom. I like the idea of Jerry suffering from success since he misses being chased by Tom, so they intentionally fail so he can go back to normal. But it's hard to synthesize with Jerry since he's an utter douchebag dipped in boiled mustard in this show. 4.5 out of 10. I don't like it, but it's better than the majority of the episodes in this maggot-infested garbage bag. This is Tim and Tabby, but instead of Tom's identical cousin, it's Jerry's identical. It's Jerry's identical. It's Jerry's identical cousin, without the scary sh but slowly turning Tom insane. I see why it was the only one to get any release. It's good. I like the callback to "Quiet, please," with the stinky drawing. Ending is dumb though. Is he the fucking pig lord or something? 6 out of 10. Good. Tom's owner buys a robot maid that Tom and Jerry both use to screw with each other, eventually becoming self-aware of it, being the robot equivalent of mind control. So it fights back, resulting in the only team up happening in this sh**, shutting it off and everything goes back to normal. It's okay. I like the idea of basically an unintentional weapon for Tom and Jerry to use, but the ending is weak. 
Three random bots show up after the destroyed made robot sends a signal to them and they chase Tom until the screen closes. Other than that, it's alright. It's not too special. 5 out of 10. Tom dreams about chasing Jerry in a medieval period. I don't care. Two. Finally, the last episode of this abomination of this good franchise. This stage struck any good? It's alright. Spike is hosting a show that Tom and Jerry are auditioning for. Jealous of Spike's appreciation for Jerry, Tom tries to get rid of Jerry so he can win and be the headlining role. At the end, they both get roles, but Tom is now a joke. 5 out of 10. It's alright. Since we've successfully went through that broken glass bottle of horse c on a sh of, of a show, let's go from worst to best and if I recommend it. <clears throat> Kitty Hawk Kitty, Get Along Little Jerry, Under the Big Top, Invasion of the Mouse Snatchers, The Puppy Sitter, Farewell Sweet Mouse, Pied Piper Puss, Incredible Shrinking Cat, Go For It Tom, Save That Mouse, Heavy Booking, Pie in the Sky, The Played Baron Strikes Again, A Connecticut Mouse in King Arthur's Cork, Cat in the Fiddle, Say What? Mouse Over Miami, Spike's Birthday, Super Stalker, When the Rooster Crows, New Mouse in the House, No Museum Piece, The Great Malsini, The Trojan Dog, Mechanical Failure, Most Wanted Cat, Jerry's Country Cousin, Snowball, School for Cats. Do I recommend the Tom and Jerry comedy show? No! This is one of the most mind-numbing Tom and Jerry cartoons ever made. They're humorless, the animation is awful, even for limited animation. The sound design is like the noises of a Chinese dog slaughterhouse, and the music is just as pleasant as listening to a Friday Night Fever Frenzy song through a 3DS microphone. If you really want to suffer through this, I recommend the last five episodes I listed. Nothing really happened after this show fortunately got cancelled like FNF mods do when too many miners work on it. Tom and Jerry would go on a hiatus, then in late 91, Turner bought Tom and Jerry and made Tom and Jerry Kids, and then, you know, made the movie afterwards, but that, that movie is trash. This really had no impact on Tom and Jerry, unlike the Gene Deitch era. It just happened and everyone moved on. So yeah, that was fucking garbage. Thank you all for watching this video. It took some time mainly because my procrastination is getting worse minute by minute. You could go in the description and follow my socials, join my discord server that's dead at the moment, but please join it please. along with subscribing to my currently growing second channel at FatSauce07. I'll see you guys uh, next time. Yeah, next time. Bye.